Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 14 of Let's Play Paper Mario, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, this is my active badge set up right now. I took off D down pound, and I believe I took off speedy spin too, so this is the setup I got. And I have three badge points available for whatever I decide to use next. Finally, let's go to Dry Dry Ruins. I'm the huge, scary Tutankupa, Koopa, remorseless king of the desert. Who dares set foot in this, my palace of the sands? Speak and be known. Be gone from this place now, or disaster will befall you. No. Alright, let's bring in Goombario since we're running into new enemies for a little while. Like these mummy pokies. What makes these guys different from regular pokies is, well, they can poison you. This is a pokey mummy! Okay, pokey mummy, not mummy pokey. Pokey mummies are pokies that dried out and became mummies that went to live in the ruins. Max HP 4, attack power 2, defense power 0, same as regular pokies. Careful, they get spikes in their heads. Trust me, it'll hurt if you jump on them. The modification also made them poisonous. If you get poisoned when they attack you, you'll take damage for a while. What do you say we beat them before they can poison us? That just seems like a good plan. Let's do that. Um, yeah, I think I will charge up first. Oh, I never got a chance to block it. So now I get poisoned as a result. Alright then, then I'll just, I'll just use Quake Hammer. Behold the Green Wonder! Of course, I only get one star point from each of them. Very unfortunate. And I guess I can bring Cooper back in. Actually, Bomb would be better. Oh, new badge. Eh. Hey, you know what? Screw it. I'll bring in Cooper. Ah. Oh! It was gonna go so well too. Okay, then Quake Hammer, then Power Shell. That'll easily dispatch these guys. Since I'm close to leveling up, I can decide to go all out on my FP. Why not? Like I said before, that second coffin has a badge. I might as well get it. You got the Spike Shield badge. That's Mario jump on a spiked enemy without taking damage. Including those mummy pokies. Or pokey mummies. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. How much BP do I need for that? Okay, just two. Actually, I'll put on feeling fine right now to avoid being poisoned. There, I got the first strike. Yeah, I might as well just go with the Quake Hammer, then the usual Power Shell. Now you can understand why I chose Cooper for the Super Rank. He certainly pays off here. Level up! Okay, this should go towards FP. Here, now I can use a lot more. Ah, tasty tonic. I'll probably get rid of it since I already got a feeling fine badge on. Ooh, a key! That was very difficult to find. Now, let's open that door. Oh, automatic doors! This is so high tech! I see a switch. What's that going to do to the sand? Well, it's going to take it out of this floor and put it down. Okay, remember earlier, we saw a doorway that we could not reach. With the sand, we should be able to get in. Unfortunately, we cannot drop down that hole, which would have been a nice shortcut. 
Well, at least it's packed tight. Fool! You have ignored my warning, haven't you? You fool! You will fall to my legions and become a mummy of the sins! Eh, whatever. Okay, can I go in here? Okay, I see a key, but I can't jump that high. I'll have to find another way. I see a new enemy, that's a Buzzy Beetle. If you remember your Mario lore. These guys are not too tough, you just gotta flip them over like you would Koopa Troopas. Oh, release kicking in. Extra attack power. Nice. I took one out in a single hit. Well, action command at least. This is a Buzzy Beetle. Buzzy Beetles are cute, but mean. Max HP 3, attack 2, defense 2. Fire attacks don't work very well against these hardheads. If you can flip them, though, their defense power falls to zero. Keep flipping them, Mario! I heard that they used to flourish all over the place, but now they're only found in dark, shadowy places. Okay, that's good to know, and they flip back up right away. Not that there's anything to worry about, Goombario is the best character to use against these guys. Trust me, not even Bomb Bats and Bomb be enough to take out these Buzzy Beetles if they're not flipped over. I have tried from experience. Let's see, speaking of Bomb Bet, I can use her right here. Thank you! Okay, there's another switch. Let's see, I can probably get to that key now. Nice. Oh, I see a star piece too. This is like the gift that keeps on giving. Eh, Gubari will come back. We might see another Buzzy Beetle. Especially in the room we were just in. We get another Ruins key. Where's the door? Probably had to go down. Hey, what's up? Yeah, fuzzy Beetles are still quite easy with Mario and Goombario together. Let's see, do I go right first or... Yeah, I think I'll go right first. Okay, I see a block that I can't break and some kind of stone. I'll have to come back here later once I can break that block. Don't worry, we find the hammer for that in this dungeon. Hmm, what's so ominous about this place? Um, I think I should bring in Cooper. It's a trap! But yes, this was a necessary trap. We had to trigger this. Unfortunately. So, I guess we're gonna be doing some killing! On enemies that are technically already dead. Eh <laughs> Go. That's one Pokey Mummy. Even though that technically was two. I let Cooper do the work. Oh, I see a new enemy. I believe that's called a Swooper. I might as well bring in Goombario just so he can tattle it. Oh. There's no, like, delay during that. This is a swooper! A ghost bat! Swoopers got their name because they swooped down out of the shadows! HP 4, attack 2, defense 0. Even jump attacks can't reach him when they're hanging on the ceiling, or the earth tremors will knock him loose. Paracarry can also knock him loose with one of his moves. You can attack him however you choose once they're hovering in the air. Okay, so right now, I have no attacks that can do any damage except for Quake Hammer. Remember, Quake Hammer can damage enemies on the ground and the ceiling, 
including Swooper. There, now it's gonna hover the whole time. In that phase, there is a delay. Just remember, on the ceiling, no delay. When it's not hovering, delay. That's when you can predict to do the action command. Keep that in mind. Hey, what's up? Okay, I'll use the quake hammer. Hammer throw also works, but I don't have that equipped right now. Nor do I need it. Mario's gonna have to do all the work against this guy, because Cooper can't reach flying enemies. But he does just fine against the ground ones. There we go. Oh, that opens the door. Well, actually, that doesn't open the door. That just gives us a key to open the door. Sadly, I have to open the door myself. Let's not do that yet. Instead, why don't we go up here? Let's not create a stairway to get to that artifact over there. But remember, I still don't have the hammer to break that stone. Guess to get this hammer, I have to go beyond this room. Think. Actually, Bombette, why don't you take a look to see what's over there first? Okay, I don't want to go down there yet. I can go to the right, too. Eric Carey, I'm gonna need your help. Oh, wait! Come on, don't go in that room! Oops, I mean... Flee now while you still can. If you continue, uh, you'll feel a horrible curse. Whatever. Okay, there seems to be treasure beyond here. The only question is, how the hell am I gonna reach it? Oh, of course. I'm gonna hit, hit that green switch. Missing that. Okay, that's gonna turn all the green staircases a different direction. Which is what I want. Now I'm going to hit this switch to flip them back. But on this side, it allows me to go up a bit higher. That's exactly what I want. Now I gotta flip the red switch. That's what I want, too. I believe there are multiple green switches, but only one red switch. So I only need to hit this once. Well, the red one, at least. The green ones, of course, still require some maneuverability. Actually, what's on the upper right? Actually, I don't think it's gonna matter. What I need to get is up here. Okay, I'm gonna approach this slowly because there are two things I can get here. That's it. You gotta make sure you're hanging around here. Hug the left and do not fall off. There's a hidden passage which gives you a hidden badge. You got the slow go badge. Makes Mario unable to run, his pace becomes very slow. Technically, you can already walk like this, but you have to hold the joystick slightly. With the slow go badge, which requires no badge points whatsoever, you can go this slow while holding the joystick all the way. This could come in handy if you have very bad thumbs. You got the super hammer! The attack power of Mario's hammer increases. On top of that, you can now destroy stone blocks. Like this one. See, I'm gonna do a little something. I have this feeling there's something pretty good on the upper right. Oh, wait, wait, no, that was just another switch. 
I don't even know why I'm bothering to go this way. I forgot. At least I'm done with this room for good. And... Why don't I go right first? Turn back, thief! Your time is running out! If you do not retreat, you'll be in grave trouble. I do not lie. You will regret it! Okay, there's something ominous about this room, but I can't do anything with it. Uh, oh, I don't have another key. Which, I might as well just go left down that shaft. Not interested. Aha! Super block! Now, who should I upgrade? I think... Goombario. So you can learn to charge. And you'll be even more potent against Buzzy Beetles. Ah, uh, yeah. Alright, Bombat, do your magic. Let's see what's in this room. Ah, there's another one of those stones. And there's a chomp. That's great. Stone chops. Okay, I might as well test out that quake hammer with a super hammer. That still does two damage, but then again, their defenses are quite high. So I must be doing like four damage on standard enemies with zero defense. Or better yet, it's probably just three. Yeah, it looks like these guys only got a defense of one. Maybe Quake Hammer will only do three to standard enemies now. Yeah, it's possible. You got the Diamond Stone! Okay, but what do I do with it? I did recall seeing another stone that was blocked. But I'll get to that later. Hey, what's up? Okay, one of them is hanging on the ceiling. Okay, maybe Quake Hammer is still doing only two. No big deal. At least my regular hammer attacks are more damaging. For some reason, I thought Quake Hammer would do more damage than Super Hammer. Maybe not. That it matters. What is this, a map? Okay, I got this. Okay, these green lights, or these green dots, are pretty much where the stones are. The triangle means I'm right there. That green dot is the one I just got. Okay, that spot there in the pink, that's probably the start. So if I keep going to the right and up, then right again, I should get to another stone. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Nice map system. Looks like I found my way to a key. Perfect. Alright, let's go. Actually, I might as well bring in Goombario. Just in case I get into another fight with these. Oh. Whatever. I recovered from that first attack. At least Goombario is much more efficient. I guess I'll just have to head back to where that locked door was. Actually, I think I can go all the way this way. Yeah, that, that's where the locked door was, of course. Duh. Those chomp statues again. What could this mean? Okay, I think I'm starting to grasp a theory out of all this. Okay, I picked up a diamond stone. That means I gotta place it in the middle. The pyramid's gotta go over here. And what looks like a moon gotta go into slot five. 
Okay, now it's making a lot of sense. I already got the diamond one, so I'll just place it right here. I'm guessing another stone's over this way. Of course. I better have Bombette ready. Ah, the Lunar Stone. Oh, there was a stone shop up there. That's some troll placement. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with a regular attack. I don't think I'll charge it up. No, oh, yeah, regular hammer. Can Bobette do enough damage with a single slam? Body slam? Okay, they only got 4 HP. So I won't need to give up any FP to take care of these guys. Why did I use the action commands? I don't think I need to tattle them. I think I'll just go without that. At least they give you three star points for kill. That's really courteous of them. All they have to do is give me their lives. Okay, the lunar one goes here. If I remember correctly, the one with the pyramid was all the way back up and to the right. That's the one I saw the first time. But I couldn't reach. Alright, let's go. Wait a minute. Before I go on... This might be a good time to pick up that artifact. So I think I'll do that right now. Yeah. Hmm, I have a feeling somebody might want this. So I'll definitely take it. Uh oh, it's a troop! I got the pyramid stone. Ah, uh, yeah, was there any doubt? Yeah, go out with a bang. Literally. Perfect, now we got all three stones. Well, the first two are already in place. I don't need those coins. I'm not poor, I'm Mario! I get paid every time I go on adventure! Right, I gotta go down to the right. I still ignore the Buzzy Beetle. I'm guessing nothing would happen if I put him in the wrong slots. Let us panic by running back and forth! Hey! Oh, cool. Oh, there's a heal block. That's very convenient. Nothing down here. If I go this way. This is your final warning! Enough of this foolishness! Leave at once! Okay, I'm gonna stop the video here, and in the next part, we'll take on Totenkoopa. See everyone.